Hello, so you decided you're going to move to university in September um, and there's a lot of accommodation in your city and you don't know which one to choose or which letting agent to choose. There are some things you should look for and there's some things you should stay away from. Um, so let's firstly look at student accommodation. Um, this means you're going to stay in a studio or apartment and there's a block of these set studios and apartments. There's going to be quite a few of these in most cities. It's just deciding which one you want to stay in, but what's the main difference? Well, firstly, you need to look at value and cost. Value is, does the money that, or the rent that you're paying um, seem a fair price for what you get? So most of them will have gym, cinema, um, st study room, grab and go breakfast, free bikes to use, accommodation manager, security, and all these kind of general things. But you need to weigh them up against each other. So you need to have a look and compare them. Um, I would say some are better than others, but that judgment falls down to you. And the way I'd rate them is look at their spaces. Are they, uh, you know, is the gym fairly big and it's not in a small room? Um, is the cinema more than just a TV on the wall? Um, how previous students have found it? Uh, what the room types are like and what the room size is. So get a feel for the room size and the overall rent. And then look at the price, compare the prices. This should give you a good indication of what the student accommodation is like. You know, is it good value or is it bad value? And then finally, um, a really important one is look at the location. Location is an important one for you because if it's 10 minutes the wrong way, it's 10 minutes wrong way per day every time you want to go into town. So make sure that you factor that in. So just to go over that, the things you need to look for are location, facilities, um, little added extras, and uh, what previous students have found. So then if you want to look at student housing in particular, uh, so you're weighing letting agents up. Um, I've done a previous video on whether you stay in student accommodation or private rented. I'll, uh, I'll put that in the notes below, so go and have a look at that. However, if you're weighing up letting agents, uh, what you should definitely look for is the type of houses they have, um, the quality, and the only way you can assess this is by going and having a look at what they do and how they operate. So, pardon me, so go and... Um, you know, go and go down to their sh shop. Go go down to their what do you call it? My mind blank. So go to, go down and see them, right? Stop that. Go down and see them, and uh, go and go and see what they're like. Go and see how they operate, and um, you know, ask for a viewing, um, and then see what how they're like. See if they're quality, and if they aren't quality, I'd suggest a viewing a minimum of three uh, with all agents, uh, just to see the consistency, because what they could do is they could show you an amazing one and um, however it, the rest of them might not be that good so make sure you see a number of three and just assess the quality then look at the price and if it's fair look at what you get for the price um, and then look at the location location is important and then because after that again if you're 10 minutes out the wrong way or if you're in somewhere you don't want to be in slightly uh, the crime rate slightly higher it's another thing to factor in um, and then finally another good thing to look at is bills if bills are included or not it's not the end of the world but it can be a little bit more hassle however i do have a solution for you so if bills aren't included but you really like the house again i'll drop a link below to the partners page we partner with someone called glide and um, they will manage your bills for you as a student so just to recap if you're comparing letting agents i don't really like this video